Welcome back to Super Duperville, episode 26, Some Sauce on the Side. I'm Mike of Dragon Rider Gaming. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for coming to check out a City Skyline episode. Today, three goals again. Should be fairly smaller goals, but I got to have a pretty good time lapse between one of them here. Number one, University Generosity. So we're losing students. We finished an academic year during my off-camera uh, festivities. So we need more buildings and we need more cheese. And I'll explain that one. Uh, number two, prisoner forests. Uh, we're going to move the prison uh, thanks to a suggestion uh, by Nameless One. And uh, we're also going to put in a forest industry we're going to build a furniture factory where the prison was so that'll be good and number three eating people or people eating we're going to expand on spaghetti hills some more we're going to put down some more people places and some more restaurants and commercial places so that people can eat or people can eat people yeah so anyway, let's get into it here. So this is our overview of where we left off last time. First thing I'm going to point out, I spent all of our money. We have $15,000. Uh, I got a little rambunctious. I had everything on pause. I wasn't running the game, and I was over here just spending money like mad, revamping a couple things and tweaking a couple things, and uh, we are officially out of money. Uh, off camera. Topics here. I'm going to get the game rolling. Uh, I wanted to make sure I did not exceed this uh, February 3rd date for our next game here at UOSD to see if our cheese trap is working. But off camera, I've gone in and removed the water, uh, advanced water sucking plant things from the water. I added in two more of these uh, inland water treatment plants. I moved these advanced incinerators that were all clumped here at the top. I spread them out. And I've added a waste transfer facility to this little, uh, what are we calling this? Our little industrial zone block thingy over here to see how it performs. So we will see what's happening. Two trucks are in use. They just got let out because I just literally turned on the game for the first time since losing a bunch of money so we're gonna gain some back we're making pretty good money but uh i, I spent it all early on uh so there's changes there another change uh big change actually uh with that cost the most money is i changed this train terminal again all these trains were very backed up and it was because of this outlet here on this side still did not allow let me speed up the game to 100 percent uh still did not allow the trains to come out of here without causing a traffic jam and backup of trains so they are still recovering from that but you see this avenue here if I turn this on I sent this underground let's get to something that's a little bit easier to manage so this has now been sent underground and it runs all the way underground which is why it's so expensive all the way down to here and I have it linking into this connection here and then the east and west or the the uh Eastern train hub will come in through here and come around here. This personal train will come in here and go around here. And the other loop train will still come around here and go underground here and all the way in. So all of the passenger trains are using this, this line entrance for this facility, basically. And that way all of the cargo trains can stay on the main line here and they won't get backed up as easily. They're still backing up because there's a backlog of a lot of trucks and stuff that need to come in and out of this facility here. So it will eventually clean up, but uh, it's gonna be a little bit for that. The other thing that I did, which is the one that's gonna make us some money here, some cheese, and that's the cheese explanation is, I originally had put in a entrance here and allowed people to walk in here free of charge. No, I'm not doing that anymore. I turned off the allowance to allow people to cross the walk here. So all these people coming out of this metro, if you look at them, most of them, some of them are coming across the street, but a lot of them I put in a gate here and we're charging them. We are calling this the UOSD Positiveville side gate. You see, we've already made $1,500 from just turning this on. So that's going to make us a lot of money. This comes in here and they can walk here all the way down to the end. Whoops, wrong way. 
all the way down to the end and there's another gate on this end to get into the university campus or they could come over here and take this route around I did this so that anybody coming on the bus can walk in here walk around to the bus station on this side some of them will walk down the street this way and around and come across this way to walk right across perfectly fine no worries about that we don't care about that that's fine uh, but as these buses are coming in and picking up peoples actually dropping off a bunch of people there look at all those people dropping off so they should all come out of here possibly go into our gate and walk in here as well so this is gonna be a big money maker for us and that will help the other thing I did is I changed this road over from just a plain street that everybody can walk down to a national two-lane national road so nobody can walk down a two-lane national road I didn't know that I thought with the dirt side here people could still walk down nobody walks down these they all will con all will diverge onto a side road here so that will keep pedestrians from walking down the street I've also put the same road restrictions vehicle restrictions and I did that all the way in and around here and then I changed this to just a single two-lane road so that we had some crosswalks here in the middle as you see a guy driving right across to park inside here whoops I swear to God it turned off parking there I swear I turned no nope, still left parking on no parking no parking so hopefully everybody will walk or drive and park here and walk across the street to this cheese trap or walk down the road to come to this game that is still slated to happen on 2-3. Sorry, I paused it again because I didn't want it to get too far ahead of me. So university's on the docket for number one, but uh, since we're out of money, I'm going to have to let the... Well, we already got $100,000 back, so we're doing pretty good. Making $25,000 a week, I like that. Yeah, good, good, good. We want our commencement office here at the end of the road, I think. Okay, next up, what other things can we put in here? We got our math club we can put in. Heck yeah, I'm going to put in a math club right over here, I think. That'll be good. Sweet. And we have a university academic statue, so I think we'll put some academic statues here. Next up, what else do we have to go in here? So we've put in a statue, we've put in the commencement office. People are starting to roll in for the game, looks like. Yep, we're fast approaching the game date, that's cool. Put in a math club. We need a library. So let's put in a library down this way. Yeah, that looks like a good spot for a library, what the heck. And I think that's all the buildings for right now. We have a cafeteria there. We'll Sweet. So that should take care of the university now. Yep, attractiveness is back up. Academic works isn't, aren't there, but uh, that should attract students, hopefully. For staying at the current reputation level is not met. Oh, because we're almost done with our academic year. So we're not going to hit, we're not going to stay at 800. It's going to drop back, but we have enough for the next level 
of attractiveness now. We just need to get some work, more student works or academic works and some more students attracted back in the area. So hopefully that will happen after this next game. <laughs> I'm hoping that that's going to make a lot more people come in. So we made 700. We got 94, 97 people. People are using the cheese trap, so that's good. Coming down here to park, we should see a nice influx of people walking in through this cheese trap. Yep, here they come. Nice group of people walking in here through this gate. This thing's making us a lot of money. I like it. We already had a thousand people roll through here. So here's a whole crowd of people rolling in. Nice. They, most of them should come down here and walk all the way down to the stadium for the for the game. Uh, check the levels real quick. Our electricity's good. I had to turn on our last uh, updraft tower. Our water and sewer's good and our garbage is good. I am curious about that. Let's go over and check and see how that waste transfer facility is doing. Only 1% full. Good. Okay. So they're out and about. They're doing their thing. Bus Depa. So for the prison here, moving on to that one, I'm simply going to move the prison over here to this side. Snip off the pins and voila. Prison moved and in place. Do they have water out there? They do. Excellent. They got water out there and available to get water. Sweet deal. There's our academic year. Okay, we did get an academic work. We lost the students, so we're down the level from renowned to revered, I think, or something like that. And our campus attractiveness is there. We're down to recognized from renowned. So there you go. Um, so we will have to work at that and get that back up and running. Uh, but the next big thing is to watch that game that's up and coming. So that's my next big goal. So one of the unique buildings that we can make, I'm going to continue to fix this in just a second. I want to point this out. If we go down here to unique factories. One of the factories we can use is furniture factory and it uses, hey, look at that, plain timber and paper. So it is a perfect building to put in place. And this looks like a great area to put it in down here somewhere, like right about in here. But it does produce pollution. We don't care about that. There they are. There's a whole bunch of people that are, what, you guys are off work? The building just got put up and you guys are all leaving for the day. <laughs> they are. They're all leaving for the day. They're like, okay, time to go home. Place is open. Open for business. Time to go home. So I need to select what I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to leave it on, do I want it on balance? I'm going to put paper in that one and we will put planed timber in that one. So they should start delivering them from over there. Hopefully not from outside of the city. We'll see how all that goes. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, I'm going to go in here and select the nodes real quick. Select all these nodes and we are going to Alt H these down to this level. We're still not there. Why are we not there? Why isn't everything at this level? There we go. Excellent. Now we can smooth it out. We should be good with that. There we go. That looks a lot better. Can't even tell that there's a hill there now. All right, so the road maintenance crew's out. Excellent. Furniture factory's up and running. It's already got half its timber. Perfect. Production rate, 100%. We'll deal with that. Furniture, so that's going to make us some money. I like it. That's going to suck down some industry demand as well, but that's a cool little factory to have on this side, I think. Nice and simple and easy so the last step for today how are we doing on time oh crap we totally missed the game how do we do not many people over here parking but there's a ton of people walking in and out this is making us a ton of money how are they doing on the game still going on they're in a current match okay there's probably still tons of people walking in yes they're all walking in and i knew that was going to happen somehow that they're all going to walk into the game 
So this place has to be making us, yeah, they're making us bank too. So that's great. We need a win to attract more people into the city area. Academic Works is in place to get back up. Campus attractiveness is back up. We just need students. So we'll see how that goes. Something's telling me that something's amiss with this. No? Well, that's right. Yeah. No parking there, and there's no parking on these roads anyway, so. Whoa, look at all the people pouring out of there. All right. So hopefully everybody's going to walk across and make us a crap ton of money. Come on. Come on across, people. Oh. Oh, look at all that money coming. Come on, money. Oh. Yeah, we're going to watch this for a second. $8,300. Look at that. That's off the first round. Here comes second round right now in a truck driving through the middle. Learn how to drive, dude. Where are you going? Crazy bastard. But yeah, $8,300 last week, and we're going to make just a ton more. And look at where they're all headed. They're all headed down the road, and guess where they're going to go? Cheese trap number two. And look, we're back up to 220,000. It's not like much time has passed. I've just been sitting on slow speed. So that's awesome. And I like to see the side roads working a lot better here because everybody can funnel out of here a lot easier. That is just, that is awesome. How do we do? Did we win? We lost again? Ah. But we made 24,000. Let's see here. Tickets, sales, 24,000. Upkeep, 4,000. Man, I'm only charging 30 bucks a ticket. We're going to up this to uh, 250 bucks. Get some cheerleaders out there. Yeah. So hopefully that will give an extra bonus for our next match, which is... When's our next match? 12... 21. So we got another nine months before we hit another game. Right. And that, my friends, is going to be it for this. Oh, we didn't put... Uh, and we got to come over here and put in some more people. So let's populate. That one's kind of populated. Let's work on this one here. This looks like a good one to put in. So that hill's populated. Nice. And we need some more eateries around or anything? We might. Now, a lot of these aren't even filled in yet. So, until they get populated out, no sense in doing that. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. Another quick one for you. Uh, as we take an old-time tour around the entire city as it exists at this point. So... In the next episode, we're going to move back into Spaghetti Hills and uh, do a little bit more landscaping decorations, that kind of stuff, some more zoning and municipals, some more parks up there, and uh, we're, even, and we're going to get back to focusing on the college as well, continue to expand and upgrade that facility as well. So, as always, please drop a like and a comment and uh, some hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, all that kind of good stuff. And until next time, this is Mike Dragon Rider Gaming. I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. And we will see you in the next episode. Take care and stay safe out there, everybody. Bye-bye.